Good morning. The company Makeblog from Tokyo contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in receiving this machine, the X-Tool M1, and reviewing it for you on video. So they sent me this beautiful package. It arrived. I've been waiting for it. I have a picture of when it arrived at the door. It was quite exciting. Of course, I said yes, and here it is. So the package they sent me is the M1 10 watt the Deluxe Edition, which includes a lot of materials, and the RA2 adapter, which allows you to rotate on cylindrical items like mugs, tumblers, and those types of things. So I'm going to open up the package with you and see what's inside. Okay, so I can already see that it's very well packaged. It's got these foam inserts, heavy duty foam inserts, to protect the machine. And the first thing I have is a couple of mats. So what's different about this engraving and cutting tool is that it incorporates the laser, but it also has a blade. So this would let you cut vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, paper, and those types of things like you would usually cut with a Silhouette or Cricut machine and you're able to use the laser functions of this machine as well so you don't need to have two different types of machines if that's something that you're looking for either for space savings or money savings so these two mats are for cutting and this pink one has fabric grip on it so it's for cutting fabric and this one says light grip I'm just going to put those aside for now. This is a very heavy box. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so this says it's the material, uh, the premium material package. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so it gives you a chart on using these materials. Well, the canvas bag. Wood tags. Quite a few wood tags. There's some wood in here as well as, I don't know what this is. Okay, so these are acrylic sheets, colored acrylic sheets. There's some green, orange, red, and there's some frosted acrylic sheets. So these are thin acrylic sheets. There's some craft type paper, it seems. And a couple of sheets of wood. It's a small wood round. Uh, okay, so there's, it looks like a ring, a chain link, and a circular shape up in metal in there. Here I've got a heart, a fish, a dog bone, and a circle, metal tags. These appear to be um, I mean, if I would look at the list, it would tell me, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, this seems to be a card holder, like a business card holder. And there's some plastic on here, so I presume that this is galvanized aluminum. Quite a lot of supplies in here. Oh, there are some slate coasters. Two of those. There's a wood block. I guess you could use that as a phone holder. 
some aluminum tags. couple of pieces of leatherette, like a fabric backed full vinyl. This appears to be papers. I'm going to have to look and see what exactly these are. They seem to be backed with something. My goodness, it's like it's never ending. The package of supplies, the materials are quite expensive. They don't skimp on the materials. These appear to be sheets of vinyl. Yes, that's, or it's heat transfer vinyl. Okay. So quite a few colors in there. And then this last package. Okay, this is adhesive vinyl in quite a few colors. Okay, so I've got some more boxes on the side over here. And the box says rotary accessory kits. Okay, so these are all to do with the rotary accessory adapter. These are risers for the M1 because what you can do is you can take out the bottom of the machine. Um, I've actually watched quite a few videos on how this machine works. I haven't used it myself so whatever I explain to you will be from the standpoint of someone who hasn't used it um, but I've seen what it can do. So you can take the bottom out of the machine, rise it up on legs and then um, engrave or cut pieces that are underneath that are taller. For example, when you're using the rotary kit, you'll end up with a piece that's quite a bit higher. You'll have your rotary kit and you'll have the tumbler on top. So the machine needs to lift up to be able to work on the pieces. So these are risers that you can use. They include these and you can use other items as well. So I'll show you, this really is the deluxe kit. Okay, so this is the rotary accessory. This is the more advanced rotary accessory. They had an earlier version. The older rotary adapter was basically this part here, but you now have additional pieces to it so that it's much easier for you to engrave on, rotor, on uh, circular or cylindrical items. For example, you can put a mug on this or a tumbler or whatever. You don't have to create a jig to hold your piece. So next is the machine, I presume. Yes, it is. So I'm going to put this down on the floor, take the machine out, and come back and show you all of this. Okay, so the box is heavy, and the machine is heavy, but I was able to take it out of the box by myself. So not too, too bad. So you're looking at the back of the machine here, and I have not taken this plastic off yet. So it's got a protective film on the top that I'll take off here. power button this is a USB connector this must be the power supply and uh, that must be for the rotary adapter so let me look inside okay so some more foam, styrofoam foam some more materials there's the user manual okay, and then some more materials and I guess this is the basic materials package you receive so this contains adult type there's a sheet of full leather. There's some adhesive vinyl. Um, another sheet of this, whatever this is, I'm not sure. And a piece of basswood. And then we've got the power cord. Two parts to the power cord. A USB cable. Some blades for the blade tool. The venting pipe which looks like it's about three inches wide. This is for attaching it. Uh, there's some screws in here. This is that adapter for the back to attach the venting pipe. 
as I was mentioning earlier. And that's it. And there's some more um, cutting mats inside. Oh, these are the prisms. Okay, so these are the prisms. They're triangular. And you can see better like this. So in my next video, I'll go through some things that you'll want to think about in deciding where to set up your machine. And I'll set mine up and show you how I do that. Thanks so much for watching. This is Xtool F1, an ultra-fast IR and diode laser engraver at hand. With a maximum working speed of 3,000 millimeters per second, F1 finished projects super fast. Turn your imagination into creation in a blink of an eye. F1 has a 2 watt infrared laser and a 10 watt blue laser. The blue laser is used to engrave more common materials, while the infrared one is for metal and plastic engraving. With an F1 in hand, only sky's the limit. Powerful 10 watt laser can also make crafts with laser cutting. F1 utilizes an electric focus adjustment system and has a live preview feature, enabling you to easily complete the engraving, no matter how tiny the objects are. Assembled with an industry-level galvanometer system, F1 has a 0.003 millimeter engraving accuracy, bringing out every detail flawlessly. To make it an indoor engraving machine, F1 features an enclosed design and is accompanied by a purifier, keeping you away from the smoke and smell issue out of engraving. With an F1 in hand, you can create whatever you want. Make a unique mug and tumbler. You can prepare for your custom orders as fast as you can. Or you can even make engraving on demand as a custom service of your gift shop. Xtool F1, ultra-fast IR and diode laser engraver.